Hello and welcome to today's webinar from AceCAD Software in conjunction with Hypertherm. My name is Warren Delay and I'm the presenter of today's webinar uh, which is nesting with ProNest in Strumis. So basically what we're going to be taking a look at is the association between the Strumis fabrication and management system and also the ProNest nesting system. So we're going to be looking at how we can take data from within Strumis and use that to create nests directly uh, within ProNest. Uh, and we're also going to be looking at the benefits that can arise from the association between those two systems. Okay, so just a quick introduction to AceCAD software. So we were established in 1986 and we're based in the UK with offices worldwide. AceCAD Software is a leading developer of software solutions for the structural steel and BIM sectors. We're a member of the International RDS Group and AceCAD is part of a global conglomerate of engineering, fabrication and software companies. We have a core product lineup of, first of all, Strumis which is a complete steel fabrication management information and production system for engineering and steelwork fabrication companies who are looking to manage their business more effectively. We also have BIM Review, which is a collaborative review and visual communication tool for use at any stage of the construction project. Models can be imported from multiple CAD authoring tools including Tecla for instant access of project information. BIM Review models can also be imported into Strumis for fabrication and production management purposes. Also just a quick word on Hypertherm. So they were founded in 1968 in Hanover, New Hampshire, the US. They're an associate owned company with more than 1300 associates. They have more engineering resource for cutting research and development than any other company in the world. They have more than 100 patents. They're continuously improving cut quality, productivity, operating cost and the reliability of their systems. And also what is ProNest? So ProNest is an industry-leading CAD-CAM nesting software for advanced mechanised cutting. It provides a single solution for all profile cutting needs, including plasma, laser, water jet and oxyfuel. It is specifically designed to help fabricators and ma manufacturers increase material savings, boost productivity, lower operating costs and improve part quality. Okay, so what does the link between Strumis and ProNest actually do? So the link allows for the nesting of non-linear items in ProNest directly from Strumis. So when we say non-linear items, we just mean items that are not cut from a, uh, a single bar, they're cut from large sheets. Users first choose the items they wish to nest from within the nest, Strumis nesting and ordering module. Once this selection of non-linear parts only has been made and accepted, ProNest will automatically open and nest the required parts. So what are the benefits of ProNest in conjunction with Strumis? Easy synchronisation of Strumis's nesting and ordering data to ProNest's automatic nesting facilities. Seamless integration between the two systems eliminates the requirement to transfer files back and forth. Direct and quick access to advanced nesting functionality which drastically reduces waste and maximises material efficiency. Seamless availability from both suppliers and inventory. Through ProNest, Strumis can provide data to virtually all machine brands and models. Through Strumis, ProNest can nest parts supplied from major CAD authoring packages such as Tecla Structures, SDS2, Advanced Steel, Inventor, Revit, BOCAD and more. True shape recognition of components and sheet inventory. Utilisation of desired third-party nesting software. OK, so we're going to move on to the software part of the presentation now. So obviously we have the uh, ProNest system open here. So we're going to look at the ways in which we can nest using ProNest and also the way in which we establish the link uh, between Strumis and ProNest so that we have that uh, seamless link there. It's worth noting as well that once you go through this process once, uh, it's done forever then. You don't need to continuously uh, do this every time you wish to use the link between Strumis and ProNest. Okay, so we're going to set about setting up this link now. So the first thing that we're going to do is, within ProNest, look at the machine that we're going to be using. So click that and select the settings button. 
and then select the importing parts option uh, from the settings dialog which is just opened up so if I just select that within here there are three main areas that we want to look at so we want to look at the cutting area the scribe area and also the display only area here so we just want to make sure that these fields here are correctly populated so within the cut area we have 0, 1, AK, BO and IK all separated by semicolons within the scribe area we have numbering and KO and within the display only tab we have plot, display and ST so once we're happy with that we're just going to go ahead and select save and then also OK One further piece of configuration that we need to do to ProNest uh, before we get started is the import of a relevant material library. This is so that when uh, information is sent over from Strumis, uh, ProNest basically recognises the information uh, and it can map it correctly to information that it already has within its own material library. So the way in which we're going to do that and import a material library is by first of all going to the Data tab and then selecting the Materials option. The materials uh, library will then open and I'm just going to go to file import and then I'm going to navigate to the materials library that I want to bring in. So I've got a ProNest material UK PLT uh, library here so this is going to bring in all of my UK plate sizes uh, and it's in XLS format. Uh, it's worth noting as well that if there is a different region, for example, uh, the US version of this document, uh, you should contact your ProNest or Strumis representative to obtain that particular library. Uh, I'll give you details on how to do that at the end of the presentation today. So select that file and then select Open. That will then bring in all of those materials into your library there. So you can just see all of those uh, UK plate sizes within our materials library there and we can just go ahead and close that window then. So the final piece of configuration that we need to do from the ProNest side is just in relation to these three DLL files here. So I'm going to link to a location at the end of the presentation where you can grab these three DLL files from and once you have those files and you have Strumis Evolution installed on your machine I just want you to go ahead and paste those files into the following location. So I want you to look in your C drive, program files, ACAD software limited, Strumis evolution, and if you don't already have a ProNest folder in that location, create one and then just go ahead and paste those three DLL files into that location. The last piece of configuration that we have to undertake is within Strumis itself uh, and what we're going to be doing within here is telling Strumis that we wish to use ProNest as our chosen nesting software. So we can do that at two levels, we can do it for all facilities and all contracts at production level or we can go into each individual facility uh, that we can define within Strumis and specify at each facility level that we want to use ProNest. So if I just show you how to do it at production level first of all, so we're just going to navigate and select the production tab in the bottom left here and then select production options. I'm just going to look for my nesting options then within the opens dialog which are just here and within the plate nesting engine to use you just want to make sure that ProNest is selected. If ProNest isn't defined within here just double click on that field and enter ProNest. Then navigate to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and select save. We can also do this at facility level as well. So if you just navigate down to the bottom left hand corner of the screen again and select system and then facility All of the facilities that you have available, they will then be shown within a, a grid style environment. So just double click on one of those. And then select the options tab. Within here, you can choose to enter ProNest as the plate nesting engine to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that in there and then again select save from the bottom right hand corner of the screen. 
Once that's done, the configuration is complete and the link between Strumis and ProNest is completed. So now that we have the link between Strumis and ProNest established, we can get to work on creating some nests. So we're within the Strumis environment here and we're within the production nesting and ordering module. So the first thing that I'm going to do within here is define what it is that I want to feed into the nesting module. So by using this grid style environment I can choose to isolate certain section types so I'm just isolating my uh, plates here and I can also apply additional filters to define the type of plate that it is that I want to see. So if I just use this little drop down menu here and then select my 20 mil plates here then it's isolated all of the 20 mil plates that we have uh, within our available material ready to nest uh, from its other types of material so it's got rid of all the 12s and the 15s and the 8s and whatnot. So what I'm going to do now is just highlight all of those 20 mil plates and choose to feed those into the auto cut facility which is the automatic nesting facility integrated into Strumis. So after I've selected that I'm presented with some setup options for the nesting wizard. So the things that are of particular interest to us on this screen are these sourcing preferences here on the left hand side of the screen. Now this is Stroom is basically asking us where do you want to get the material from and what do you want to use to create the nest. So we have a series of options here in terms of available material so we have things like supplier lengths, uh, cut to length, we can use mill standard lengths, uh, we can also use things like free inventory so any pieces of uh, inventory that we have from old contracts uh, which we have in our uh, storage facilities we can use those also. So I'm, in this instance what I'm going to do is use the standard supplier lengths and I'm also going to use any uh, free inventory that I have available to me. So I'm just going to choose next and then on the select suppliers and inventory length screen we can see all of the materials that have been made available to us. Now this material that's been made available is based on the selections that we made on the sourcing materials section on the previous screen. So we defined supplier lengths and also any free inventory. So this is any supplier lengths and any free inventory that we can use for our 20 mil plates in here. So you can just see that as I roll over each of these pieces of material you can see whether they're inventory or supplier lengths there. We also have other information uh, available to us as well. So we also have uh, cast referencing information there which can be defined within Strumis. And we also have CE marking information here which will be of particular interest to our European customers. Now also as well uh, with any inventory uh, pieces we can also see the shape of that piece as well. So if it's a remnant from a previous nest uh, we can see the shape uh, of that remnant. So if I just select view shape here you can just see that uh, the, sh the specific shape can be seen within the integrated viewer within Strumis there. So if I just select on a few more of these you can just see the different shapes. So there is a slightly larger shape there and some ones which are similar to the, to the first one that we selected there. So what I can do from that is just choose to, what I'm going to do is just highlight all of these pieces here and uncheck them that one too. and I'm just going to choose that second piece uh, that we saw there because that was fairly large and should be able to fit uh, a few pieces on there. So now that I've defined that piece I'm going to select next and this is the point at which Strumis and ProNest make contact with one another. So Strumis is passing over the information in regards to the pieces to nest and ProNest will be compiling the nest. So in a moment or two ProNest should open up with the results of that nest for us. And there it is. So what's happened is that the uh, remnants that we define to use has been used and ProNest has fitted on to that piece as many uh, parts from our selected uh, part list as it can onto that piece. It's also just notified us that it can't get all of the uh, parts that we selected on that particular piece of material. So I'll just select OK there. Uh, in Strumis as well, it's worth noting at this point that uh, the nest will actually be represented within Strumis as well. So if I just drag that up a little bit and select the piece, 
uh, that we're looking to nest or the set of pieces that we're looking to nest there you can see uh, the actual nest within Strumis also okay so that's not fitted all of the pieces onto that particular nest for us so what I'm going to do is just go back to the previous screen uh, and select some additional material just that we can in, uh, incorporate all of our selected pieces so again uh, we're looking at this area at the bottom of the screen uh, so we still have our remnant selected but I'm also going to select a supplier length so this is just a more uh, rectangular sheet uh, which will be able to fit more pieces on it so I'm just selecting that piece and selecting nest again again uh, the communication is taking place between Streamis and ProNest and there we can see a new nest is being created with all of the selected parts on uh, because we defined a, a larger piece of material to use effectively uh, it's worth noting as well that at this point ProNest has automatically created a, a crop around the edge of the nest you can just see it going around the edge there uh, and what that allows us to do is feed any unused material so this uh, white area on the right of the screen here we can feed that back into Strumis and use that again at a separate time uh, on a separate uh, nest So how do you go about acquiring the interface? So for existing ProNest users who don't currently have Strumis, please contact AceCAD to request a Strumis demonstration. You can do this through sales at acadsoftware.com or you can contact us directly at our UK head office on plus four four zero one double three two five four five eight double zero. It's worth noting as well that for existing Hypertherm ProNest customers, you should also contact Hypertherm to ensure that the correct software version is installed. For existing Strumis users who don't currently use ProNest, please contact Hypertherm to request a ProNest demonstration or trial. Users in the North American region should contact them directly on plus one seven one six four three four three seven five five, or alternatively through their email address at na at hypothermcam.com. For all of the global office locations, please visit www.hypothermcam.com. Okay, so thank you for attending today's webinar, guys. Please forward any questions you have to sales at acadsoftware.com or alternatively contact ACAD Software or Hypertherm directly on the details below. Uh, we're going to be having a short Q&A session after today's webinar as well, so please uh, stick on the line if you do just want to post a quick question to us. Okay, so thanks a lot again, guys, uh, and we hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.